Most people feel some level of stress on the job. It's normal. It's how you manage it that makes the difference. We are turning to an expert for some answers today, especially on how to handle stress for people who have AFib. Dr. Bradley P. Knight is on call for us today. Explain what we need to know. Well, it's Stroke Awareness Month and atrial fibrillation is a cause of stroke. So I think it's important for people to recognize it's the most common heart rhythm disorder and it can affect three to six million Americans. Uh, it's an important thing to be aware of. Who is most at risk? Well, atrial fibrillation is a heart rhythm problem where the upper chambers of the heart, the atria, fibrillate or not, uh, they don't contract normally and they can quiver and cause a variety of symptoms that patients are sometimes asymptomatic. So it's important uh, if you see your doctor on a regular basis to make sure you don't have atrial fibrillation or it can cause symptoms such as rapid palpitations, um, lightheadedness, shortness of breath, and most importantly, uh, it can cause stroke. If a clot forms in the heart while the heart's fibrillating, it can leave the heart and go to the brain and cause uh, an obstruction of the blood flow to the brain causing a stroke. What are some of the signs and symptoms? If you have any signs of a stroke, uh, you should immediately call 911. Those signs of a stroke uh, would include difficulty moving your arm or leg, uh, facial droop is a sign of stroke, difficulty speaking, and it's, it's time sensitive. You need to go to the hospital or call 911. Is there a particular age group in the workplace that really needs to be aware of heart issues? It's mainly a disease of, of aging and about 5% of people over 65 have AFib, but ca it can affect all ages uh, of, of patients. And, and as patients or people uh, prolong their time to retirement, you're probably gonna start uh, encountering more coworkers with atrial fibrillation. It can cause be caused by stress um, or other health conditions such as obesity, which can be aggravated, I think, uh, uh, at work. What do coworkers need to do? The first message is that this is beyond the control of the coworkers. So if I were to deliver one message about your coworkers, it would be empathetic. So patients with atrial fibrillation can have recurrent episodes. And you know, if they experience symptoms while they're at work, uh, it's important to let them seek medical care, to make, uh, take some time off periodically to make their regular doctor's appointments. Uh, but I guess the important message is it's not within their control. But if you see a coworker having uh, rapid palpitation, shortness of breath, or lightheadedness, um, especially if the diagnosis has never been made, those patients should, should go to the hospital. Doctor, thanks so much for being here, and hopefully we save some lives. Great. Thank you for having me. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.